So we are nearing 30,000 total harvest in the Hunter Call of the Wild, which when I really think about it, is just insane. But as of now, we're sitting at 29,985, so 15 away. And I want to try to get a diamond as harvest number 30,000. And we actually did that for harvest number 15,000. And I went back and looked. That's 582 days ago that we did it. And I think it was an average of 26 animals per day over the course of that almost 600 day period. So lots of harvest to get to this point, but they're grinding for things like the great one and the diamond must deer, rare fallow deer, the red fox thing that we're doing right now. All that has kind of uh, contributed. But anyway, I thought it would be cool if we could get a diamond red fox for number 30,000. So we're at least going to give that a shot as a male red fox calls down there. So we'll do a red fox run. We'll shoot as many as we can find. That is about the opposite of a diamond red fox. And once we get to 29,999, if we've not seen a level nine to leave and come back to for number 30,000, we'll go into multiplayer and we'll look for just some kind of diamond. I'm not gonna be too uh, intent on trying to get a diamond red fox as that, but I think it'll be fun to at least give it a shot. And that right there will be harvest number 29,986. So at least 13 red fox to go until we get to the point where we really start looking. I think we also might consider like some kind of cool rare we would actually go for for number 30,000. It depends on what happens and I'm kind of planning on looking mainly for a diamond. But if something cool shows up, especially in multiplayer, where we can't just sort of save it for later, that's probably something we could consider. But for the moment, we have red fox to look for. So figures I just talked about are rare. There's an albino female moose running right at us. I think we probably got a vital hit. So there's going to be one less uh, red fox in this video than I intended, but I just picked up his track and heard a couple of things running at us, and it just ran right by. And I have no idea how long that's been on my map, but probably since the Te Auro update where they kind of fixed the moose, because I think they did a population reset for them. So, not harvest number 30,000. I wouldn't really consider just a random female rare good enough to make uh, that harvest, but cool to randomly run into. And we actually did get lung and lung again. Not bad. I don't think there's anything to really do with that in the trophy lodge, but that's pretty unexpected. And we actually have another male red fox out here, so this will, if we can get it, already be harvest number three after that random albino moose showed up. I still can't believe that. Just ran right past us. I literally had just gotten the track and everything, but this guy's got a shot at being a gold for us. And by the way, in case I didn't make it very clear, the hope is to pretty much run into a level 9 fox just anywhere along here. And then if we actually do, which is probably unlikely, but you never know, we're just going to leave it, get to 29,999, and then go back and get it. So that's kind of why I want to check as many places as we can. But in the process, we can kind of work towards getting a diamond red fox, whether it's today or sometime in the future. But anyway, first chance at a gold red fox is actually a gold red fox. They're one of the few species where it's kind of different. Most animals were just hunting for a diamond, but if we can get a couple of gold red fox in a video, I think we're doing fairly well. It always ends up being a part of it, just spooking red fox that you can't see. But that's a level six female. And assuming we actually got along there, because I know we were somewhere up towards the vertebrae, she would have a chance. Her estimate was seven to 10. So I think the estimate is usually three, but sometimes it can be like a range of two. So I'm kind of guessing that's going to be under, but you never know. She could actually make it, in which case we'd be doing pretty good on golds. And actually she did make it. 10.1, so that's our second gold already. And I think that's got us 10 away now from 30,000. So this is kind of where our total harvest can start to go up really quickly. When we start to get pairs of them, we're gonna have to really make sure we pay attention to where we're at. But we can definitely try to take both of these two. And they're around 200 meters, so I'd like him to lift his head there, just to hopefully get him in the lungs. And when they're so small, getting them spotted, especially when there's not as much snow is difficult. I'm hoping she's gonna slow down. And I guess we got something good enough to drop her, so that's two more. Of course, they're kind of smaller ones this time, but actually not too bad. 9.4 for that guy, and I'm kind of curious where we landed this shot, because a lot of those just end up 
Kind of like vertebrae. That one, though. Double lung. Not too bad, so we'll check just to be sure. But I think that has us now at, yeah, eight away from where we want to be. So we still have a chance, I'd say, at maybe running into a level nine. So just going to be another silver, since it is a level five female. But it does seem like this side, it's almost like it only spawns females. I think I had one small four somewhere back this way that was a male. Everything else seems to always be females, but we kind of talked about that in, I think it was the last fox hunt we did. It seems to be helpful to take them out, so regardless, that's one more to the list. And it looks like we lucked out and got lungs there as well, because I thought that was kind of high. 8.5 scoring silver, not too bad. It could be that I'm remembering wrong, or maybe I just got it at some point, but I thought there was like a level 5 female with this one. Because I got down here once and spooked them, and I didn't end up getting a shot at either one. We'll take the male. And I'm not seeing, I mean it could just be out of our line of sight there, but I'm not seeing a female. So we do gotta go back around and claim that, but one more to get us closer. Looks like just his tracks around here, so maybe at some point I had to get the female. But, actually managed to hard shot him. Not too bad, but kind of continuing the trend of getting pretty much level 6 and below. And just to match levels, we have another level 4 down here, this time a female. Can just go ahead and drop that and get that out of the way as well. So this is something I've been doing more and more, is getting away from like the Crimson Plain and the Tikon Forest area. Because there are a lot of fox down here, like in the southeast, and this little area as well I want to go and look in. I just think the more fox we can get, no matter where we're getting them, the better. So, I've been trying to make sure we go everywhere. But of course, once again, nothing really too special out of that one. Just another silver. Kind of low trophy rating. 6.9 when she's almost 7.2 kg. But if it's not a level 9, trophy rating really doesn't matter that much to us. I'm starting to wonder if we're just going to be finding level 4s for the rest of the video, because after this one, we can only get 4 more. There could be a male kind of hiding back in there somewhere, but I don't see anything fleeing, so I guess that one was just by itself. But yeah, I mean, yet another level 4, yet another heart shot, and yet another silver. And where does that actually have us, just to make sure that we're not losing count? 995 now, so yeah, four more Red Fox. I've seen this more and more, and I'm not sure if it's just a Yukon thing. It's the map that I tend to see it on, but you can see, it says he's fleeing, and now he actually is. But he spent a long time just standing still, and to get here, I ran across this little area right here, and there must have been like 15 total caribou that were in that fleeing state, but just standing still. So I'm not sure what causes it, but... I'm kind of glad he actually ran and we didn't just get sort of a frozen opportunity to level 5. That said, a level 5 does just stick right with the trend, even if he is 9 trophy rating and getting close to gold. Managed to double lung him there, running away. But three more until we pretty much have to start looking elsewhere. So this is kind of nice to be finding a couple of new zones. We have two different fox here. That one is obviously once again pretty low level male and then there's another that I don't know if it would have heard that or not I guess it's at least a little above 200 meters just a level three but that one for the first time we didn't hit that well but we got it the second time the one thing is now we're stuck here because she's in the water and she's gonna float all what the all the way over here that was as if another one just respawned okay Hold on. The range says 380. It is a small animal and 380 is... Hello. Okay. Well, anyway, 380 is right about the render in distance, so I don't think that was a respawn. I think that was just kind of pure luck. And actually, I don't know if she's floating this way or not. She might be enough in the shallows, so... Hold on for a second. We got two down. We need three more. I guess we'll take the male here, that's just for some reason chilling. He might have been about to take off, he had a little bit of a move there. I don't know why they slide like that either. Yeah, it looks like he was just ready to flee on us. But that is going to be our limit on red foxes, though it seems like we're in a good area. 
we'll definitely keep our eyes open and see if there are any others. There could be definitely a level 9 drink in anywhere, especially after the amount we've shot to not see one yet. You never know. But we'll get everything claimed here. And that's going to be it. I think we did luck out that she's kind of in the shallows here, because we could have been stuck waiting. Second shot somehow got her in the heart. Pretty decent luck at 300 and whatever that was, 25 meters. So one more to claim. We do have to cross the bridge, so it'll give us an opportunity to look around and make sure there's not anything just kind of waiting on us here. But assuming that there's not, I think we're going to be off to multiplayer somewhere. And it looks like that is going to be the case, but honestly, good information. I didn't really know about this area. It was tracking, I guess, what would have been that level 3 that was stuck that kind of got me here, because I definitely didn't hunt this general area for Red Fox before, but we had the one down here and then three others and a fourth that we didn't shoot right here in this little spot, so kind of makes sense. That comes out of the Crimson Plain area a bit, so I'll definitely be checking back there more, but... That has us at 29,999 harvests, and I'm not sure which map we're going to go to in multiplayer yet. I'm not really going to worry too much about getting a Diamond Red Fox specifically at this point, just some kind of hopefully decent diamond as number 30,000, but that's going to be the boo from here on out. Hunting around till we find some. I really hope for a lot of reasons that this is our diamond for harvest number 30,000. It's a level 5 Sika. He's got a decent enough estimate, 173 to 215, and I do think that's a diamond rack. It's not quite the uh, like super high scoring rack, it's kind of like the one that we got recently with the spotted fur type, but that's a brown fur type, which I actually like, and we're going to scoot in here to about 150, and we're actually going to take him with the 7 mil. I decided to carry that today, and I think that'll be a pretty cool weapon to try to take our 30,000th harvest with. I don't know, he looks good. I do believe that's the small diamond rack, so we're going to have to hope for decent trophy rating, but can take our shot there. I always forget they changed the sound of the 7 mil with the update for this map, and I think it sounds better, but he dropped. I can't see any way that was anything worse than lung and liver. So at this point, it comes down to the trophy rating, and... I've passed up a couple of level 4 Gemsbuck with good estimates and a smaller horns level 9 Cape Buffalo over on Verhunga, just because I thought the odds of them trolling were too high. I feel like with this guy's estimate and the fact that he looked fairly decent, our chances are pretty decent, so fingers crossed on this. We're gonna run up here and <laughs> really hope that we've done what we set out to do. I mean, he looks good. I do think that's, if not the same rack, a very similar rack. And he's a diamond at 204, actually. Not bad, so that might be a different rack. I mean, a different of six. It's not huge, but maybe that is enough to be a different rack. We did lung liver shot him, but we'll go ahead and taxermize that. That's one that definitely can't leave the lodge for several reasons, but now that we've harvested that, we are dead on 30,000 harvests over the course of almost exactly four years. I almost wish it would have waited. I believe February 17th of uh, 2017 would have been the release date, so coming pretty close to four years, 30,000 harvests, which is ridiculous. But after all that, we're going to head back to the Trophy Lodge and find a place for our new Sika Deer. So I decided it was finally time to take down a couple of animals in this trophy lodge that I really wanted to eventually remove. We had a couple of silver geese up on these two plaques, and I actually like it with the Sika Deer up there, but we can definitely see it. The new one, even if it is basically the same rack shape, is considerably wider, and that's definitely why he would have scored a good bit higher. But I like that. We have what is the spotted fur type, even though you can't really tell up there, and then the brown fur type over on this side, and I'm really glad that it was a diamond that we didn't have, at least with the fur type part of it. So now we have a diamond dark spotted, a diamond normal spotted, and a diamond brown, and kind of adding to one of my favorite rooms in the entire lodge, and I think now I want to get a gold melanistic black buck eventually. I want to replace the grizzly bears at some point, and then the silver goose here. Other than that, everything else is something that is going to stay, so... 
getting somewhere with our 30,000 harvest, and that's really cool to get a diamond with that. And I was really worried about the troll, as I mentioned, uh, left a couple of potential diamonds on Verhunga just in case. This one was a cool one. This one is one that is going to stay in the lodge for probably forever uh, at this rate. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.